Hello everyone, welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. My name is Denise. At this channel, we discuss dating advice for mature women. If you like this video um, or any of my others, you, if you're a subscriber or viewer, please like, share, um, like, share, click on the notification bell so you'll be made aware of new videos. This video is inspired by Cruise Season, and he is a TikTok clip. And this particular member talks about women would love to be able to trust a man's judgment, but she's had 15 years of negative programming. I'm saying that's the minimum, 15 years of negative programming. And for me, as a reformed masculine energy woman, it was 30 years of programming. So I am bound to make many mistakes as I travel this hypergamous journey, but I see a difference of when I started my journey in 2019, June to be exact, and where I am now. My mannerisms are different. My voice is different. I've worked hard on trying to raise the, to make my voice sound softer and more melodic. And I like the way it sounds. Before I used to sound like, well, you could look at my previous videos like last year and you'll be able to see how I, I've just evolved in terms of my outward appearance and maybe even terms in ter I think in terms of my delivery of my message on my channel. It's been a year. Oh man, I started in September 2021, so it's really going on two years. <laughs> Time for always when you're having fun, right? So yeah, okay, so he talks about 15 years of, of, um, of programming and 99% of it is negative programming. So most black women in my era and today, we didn't grow up with our fathers. I had my stepfather in the home, but a lot of us didn't grow up with our father. So if we don't trust the people in our nuclear family or family of origin, if there are no men there, then it's hard to transfer trust to a, to a man outside of our um, family of origin or the family we grew up in if we don't have care and understanding and protection from our family of origin or our uncles or our brothers if they're not there or they abuse us tease us unmercifully unmercilessly um there's not the i know siblings have you know um sibling rivalry but i'm talking about the the kind that borders on abuse you know he just doesn't like you and he is doing everything in his power to make your life miserable. I'm talking about that kind of sibling rivalry. So it's hard. You know, you, you don't trust yourself. You doubt yourself. So it's hard to transfer that trust to a man. And as an adult woman or young adult woman, if you don't trust yourself, you don't trust your intuition, you don't trust how you look, you don't trust that you're good enough then how are you going to really um, healthily transfer trust to a man in a romantic partnership? First of all, you have to have trust within yourself that you can make the decision, that you're good enough, that you're worthy enough for whatever you want romantically. But there's so many in our family that's telling us that we are not worthy of that trust. Um, to trust ourselves, that we're not worthy of what we want, when it comes to romance and marriage, um, most of us grew up in households where we were told, get your education, you know, boys and men can come later. And no one said, well, you can do both. 
and showed us a model of how to do that. And they didn't because they didn't know how to do it. it to, in their minds, it's one or the other, meaning basically our moms and the women in our family. You're either going to school or you're married and having children. You can't do them simultaneously. And if you do, not effectively. And so they only, they only, they meant well for us. They meant well for us, but they didn't show us or model for us how to trust our intuition, how to trust that we're good enough simply because we were born into this world, that we're good enough simply because we were born into this world and deserve unconditional love. And you usually get that from your parents, both of them, if they're healthy. But if they're not, and your mom is a single mother or was a single mother, then you try, she, she is supposed to try to give that to you. But if she doesn't have it, how can we honestly, realistically expect her to model trust, to model self-acceptance? She's not. So we grant her grace, you know, we're mature now, we understand the struggle, we may have, you know, raised some children of our own and daughters of our own, and they may be doing well, or they may be repeating the same mistakes. So we forgive ourselves, ask our children for forgiveness, if you think that is appropriate, and try to do better and model something different for them. And as mature women, we're starting this journey um, Again, but with a different mindset. And so this crew season member is right. You know, 15 years of negative programming. We've never seen a healthy relationship where the wife, meaning the female member of our um, family, has is trusting the leadership of her partner, her husband. We want marriage over here of her husband. So... We have to forge our own path. We have to forge our own path. I know that I'm doing that for myself. None of the women in my family, let's say in my age group, are, are married except for two that I know of and I can remember at this moment. One couple is on my father's side and one couple is on my mother's side. The couple on my father's side, they're in their uh, mid-60s. And the couple on my mother's side, they're in their, I think, mid-50s. So, and then I do have one of my former dance teachers from middle school. We're friends. Um, she's been married for 50-something years. Okay, so I have two people who model that. But um, I'm not around them. They're in different states and cities. So I'm not really around them to see if they take the leadership of their husband, even though I think the couple who is my, um, both of them taught me really in junior high school or middle school, her husband and the wife taught me there. Um, I think they have, uh, 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 they were both teachers. I had, think they have a relationship where she basically follows his lead like 90% of the time. So I do have that model for, for them, but um, the kind of marriage that I really, really want, I don't have anyone to model that for me. So I have to take, read books, watch YouTube videos, and when the time is right, maybe take some classes or create my own in-person, online class regarding femininity and my journey and um, what steps women can follow to get to that point. And it's really for mature women because mature women have a different set of circumstances that they're working with, um, age, finding their style, feeling good about themselves. And these things probably can go for younger women as well. But we have resources that we're not trying to lose to a deadbeat or someone, um, at, what does they say? A wolf in sheep's clothing. So we got a couple of things that are a little bit different from younger women. But if you like this video or any of my others, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget the affirmation journals on Amazon and beautiful colors. 
and also um, the free dating guide. The free dating guide has about 20 activities that you can do as a woman who would like to get started dating again. And basically these are solo activities to get you back in touch with who you are, what you like, what your style is, and getting into a different mindset. Sometimes we can think about a thing, but then we have to do it. So the action and the thought, the thought creates the action and we must follow through on the action, right? So remember, hypergamy is a journey. It is not a destination. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.